this LPS, what is it? It's found on the outer shell of the gram-negative bacteria. As I said, it's an endotoxin and it's a component of biofilms. But what a lot of people don't know is, is that this is a factor in almost all autoimmune diseases in things like chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia, heart disease, even diabetes. So understanding why there's a relationship between biofilms in your gut and systemic problems, it's really important. And the other thing that this LPS do, does is it can trigger the deposition of amyloid plaque right? And you know what amyloid plaque does. It helps cause Alzheimer's. So there's just a variety of reasons why we don't want these bacterial biofilms hanging out anywhere in our body. And we want to make sure that we're free of these infections. Whoa, so, that's intense. So yeah, it's, it's intense. And, and I'm sure you guys have heard so many webinars on leaky gut. So I'm not going to go into this too much, but just look at this picture here and you start to understand how the lipopolysaccharides damage the tight junctions and allow things that don't belong in your bloodstream to get in there. That could be food particles and that causes food allergies. It could be waste products and bacteria. You could have sepsis over your whole body due to bacteria entering your bloodstream. So there's so many things that can get into our bloodstream that don't belong there and they can travel anywhere in the body. So for example, if you have a bacteria like Klebsiella and the bacteria itself travels in your body, your body might think that um, one of your joints is actually part of the bacteria and it starts attacking your joints. And that's why some people get rheumatoid arthritis when they have these GI infections. So there's a connection. I just want people to understand it's a big topic, but just get the basic idea that these, these are biofilms that happen when you have a chronic infection, that it can cause these toxins to get into your bloodstream. That's the main point to know.